Hello, and welcome back to RC's Rail Fanny Productions. Today's January 17th, 2021, and I'm at my piano here. So I do play piano. I have been for the past, uh, what is it, five or six years. So, so but today I'm going to bring you a special presentation, and this is uh, Train Horns on the piano. So uh, <clears throat> let's start off with a K5LLA. C, E flat. F sharp, G sharp, B. Okay, now the K5LA 2011 one. This is uh, E flat, G flat, A flat, B, and E flat. Sorry, I'm messing it up. So that's one version of the K5LA. Now this is an old cast P5. C sharp, E, G, A sharp, and C sharp. This is the K5HL, C, E flat, G flat, B flat, and C. <clears throat> now this is the Leslie R5, RS5T, C, E flat, C, G flat, This one is a Nathan M5, C flat, or C sharp, E, G, A, and uh, C, C sharp. Next one we have is the K3LA, or I call it the Loram horn, because that is what's on most Loram equipment. Notes are uh, E flat, G, G flat, and B. Now this one is a new cast P5, which is D, F, A flat. A and C. <clears throat> this one is a Leslie RS3L, which is C sharp, E, and uh, B flat. This one is a K5H, E, G, B, D flat, and E. <clears throat> this one is a K3L, D, F sharp, and A sharp. This is another type of K3LA. D flat, F, or sorry, D sharp, F sharp, A, B, e, D sharp. That 
version is probably my favorite version of the K5LA. My favorite horn out of all of these, honestly, is probably, uh, probably the K3LA. So, yeah, those are basically the horns that I know how to play, and, um, yeah, thank you for watching, and, uh, I'll include all the notes, and, uh, I'll include where uh, each horn is in the video. So, alrighty, thank you for watching.